Hey, hey, I'm Candy, the sweet that speaks. I'm Tanara, I bring the fire and ice, I'll make you think twice. I'm Joe, a little bit of business, a little bit of class, and a whole lot of sass. We are Champagne and Cigars. Now today's show is really, really special. We got some amazing guys on set with us, and we're gonna have some real talk. <laughs> <laughs> and the topic of conversation is Battle of the Sexes. Yes, I've been waiting on this. Us three ladies have handpicked three gentlemen, <laughs> three gentlemen to ask them their perspective on various topics. We're so glad to have you guys here today. Um, Candy's gonna go ahead and introduce all of you. After we get Thank some champagne. <laughs> <laughs> we need a little in our system. We all need a drink first. <laughs> Well, while we're doing that, today's show is really, really, really special. Like she said, we have some amazing guys. Um, our first guest is Direct Derek Dixon. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> he is the founder of the legendary Rec Shop Records. He is a filmmaker, an entrepreneur, but most important, he's my big brother. And my uncle. <laughs> and my homeboy. <laughs> Guest number two, thank you, is Ron, the OG. Um, he's part of the group, the legendary group Chopaholics. He is a DJ, producer, and radio personality. Um, he's been seen with artists such as Drake and other artists in the music industry. Also, we have Jay Bradley here next to me. Um, he's well known on TV. He was on the hit show, uh, Ready to Love. He's also kind of a mogul in the real estate uh, field. So we welcome you guys for um, being with us today. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so let's get this show going. We are going to play a quick game before we get started. I will ask you guys a few questions, both parties, ladies and gentlemen, and you guys answer them. It's called um, Innocent or Guilty, so it's an icebreaker game. The first question is, have you guys ever been on a dating app? Innocent or Guilty? I'm guilty, 100%. You're guilty. Did you enjoy it? You know what? I'm the worst online dater, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> I'm innocent, of course. Yeah. I'm guilty. <laughs> let, me check, let me check my see my Tinder popping right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what guilty. about you? I'm innocent, but I, I signed up, but I ain't never. Yeah, yeah I ain't never acted like. <laughs> no. What about I'm you? Guilty. <laughs> Newly guilty. Newly, Newly guilty. guilty. <laughs> okay. The next question: Have you guys ever walked out on a date? Innocent. Uh, uh, guilty. <laughs> For real? Boo. Well, Look, I, I walked out on a date. Yeah. No, you get out of the date. You, you just get out. You, you don't get out. You, don't oh, you just worded it a little different. Yeah. Gentlemen, okay. get out. You let it, yeah, yeah, you let it so go. So women walk out? you get out? Like, what do you do? Hey, you gotta ask the man who got out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, when it, you turn it down to that level, you know what I mean? To where both of y'all know y'all ain't it's really got no business right. being here. You know what I'm saying? So you just and walk just kinda, out? Kind of get out, man. You get out of the date mentally before you get out the room, you know? Yeah. Um, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really been on a lot of dates, so that's gonna be you know, innocent on them because yeah. I don't even date a lot of time. I haven't even dated a lot in life. Why though? Dating? Yeah. Because y'all put a little different term on this dating thing, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I don't know. I think men and women see that word as two different. Okay, we're gonna come back. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're gonna rewind. Yeah. 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 So I'm stick with that. Yeah. Okay. I'm innocent again. What about you? Guilty, man. I'm innocent. Get to all things, man. <laughs> but not walked out is more of a okay. This isn't gonna work. You know, let me go and grab the check and check, please, and you know, go from there. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it don't take long. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ours was religion. I was like, so you Methodist, Baptist? She's like, nah, I don't believe in religion at all, and I've never been to church. Oh. Check, 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 right. check, uh, check. Yeah, we, Wait a while, by saying you want to check out. <laughs> Are you currently in love? Oh uh, yes. Huh? Innocent yeah, or guilty? I'm in love. Oh, in love? Guilty. Or guilty? I'm in love with myself. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. guilty. Guilty. Yeah. No. Guilty. No one, no. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I'm in love with me. I'm in love. Just, no. You know, my work. I'm yeah. Yeah. 
You're a workaholic. We see. You'll see. We ain't gonna tell you. I'm cool. You'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, with my, yeah, with yeah. life. Yeah, with life. Yeah. Okay, last question. Is there someone you currently owe an apology to? Innocent. Period. No apology to you. Innocent. I'm guilty. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can you Can give you the exact? Apologize? I always apologize. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with you know guilty because you know yeah. just I don't know. You never know if you've offended somebody because yeah, sometimes true. people don't even That's let true. you know if That's you've true. offended them or not, right. and That's then true. they just be walking around be like, man. "Well, gee, man, I ain't really. I'm just mad because you wore slippers to my shit." Right. <laughs> but damn dog, you ain't even tell me. So I, had, <laughs> I had to hear from Candy. <laughs> I was ranking on me when it came in and then. Like, yeah, bro, you should have just told me, man. You ain't like it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you don't never know. So I'm going to have to go with you. That's right. good. <laughs> what about you? Yo, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, there's always something in me. Sound like men yeah. always know we got to say uh, yeah. wrong. Right. Sound like women no, always think they never yeah. wrong. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, if you no, had to look at it from the outside, that's kind of what it looked like. Yeah. That's it. Okay, you know, that's we we always got to see it. Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, same. Sorry, Very apologetic. I think we apologize more than men, though. Oh, right? no, we yeah, do that. Yeah. No. no, no. Oh, start okay. this war right now. Women, we no. this war. Because y'all never do that wrong. We've gotten to that. But, but y'all pick and choose. But y'all pick, I think y'all pick and choose about what you want to apologize for. It's easy you to f- to apologize for things on the surface, right. but I think the real deeper issues it take a minute. Like it's like okay, you gotta pull it. But at least we pick something. At least we pick something. Y'all ain't gonna pick nothing. If you we can't even apologize. Y'all ain't apologize right. about nothing. I can right. pick five right. things. You're right. Y'all ain't gonna apologize about nothing. If it was five things, the man gonna say, okay, what do you think? Three, I apologize, apologize about, about that. Y'all still ain't gonna hold on to them two. Y'all, them two just gonna be in the air. Right. Even though we know y'all the one was supposed to I apologize disagree. for doing them two things, yeah. we just gonna take the whole thing. We just apologize for it so we can happy wife, happy Move life. Forward. But y'all do that to avoid so. conflict yeah. and to avoid less addressing the situation. Well, well at least okay. we do it. Y'all okay. don't do it at all. No, that's, that's why we. That's, why that's all I'm saying. Y'all don't do it at all. Y'all just really leave it there. It's just, well, it's there. just a point. To it's move just there. Forward yeah. in, in a relationship, in a conversation. You. So okay, we got conflict. Let's address it. I apologize for my part, whatever that part is, all three, four out of five, whatever case it is. See, look at you, you over there. Okay, yeah, exactly. Well, I was going to say, how many times in life, in, in, in life have y'all apologized to your, 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 not even to your kid, just say to your, your significant other? Or just apologize. At that time, yeah. to your man at the time. All, at that time, all, all the time. time. And sometimes. Come on, I don't even have to swear. Don't say that to me. You know me. Don't say that to me. I don't have to. Don't, I never hardly hear women. Don't apologize. let me have to check y'all faces now. You know, so we still hear everything. Honest to God, truly, this is a true statement. We can't even apologize because then when we do apologize, we're just trying to move it forward. And I'm like, nah, just like you just said. I mean, I swear, this shit is so relevant right. with me right now. You just now. said it, y'all. I apologize to move forward. Y'all must so. be watching my life. Right? But sometimes we need to apologize to ourselves. Okay. Yeah, I mean, y'all probably need to huddle up on that one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I like the sound of that. Hold up. Y'all hold up and talk about that one. I like the sound of that one. Y'all hold up and talk about that. It's easy to apologize to other people, but sometimes we forget to apologize to ourselves. That's so, true. as women, yeah. since y'all are the, the few apologetic type, um, <laughs> <laughs> does the man normally apologize, or do, do they have to lead with the apology, and then y'all will then apologize because, uh, like, law of reciprocation? Or will you lead with an apology? I will leave with an apology if I know I I definitely wronged you. But if there's no reason for me just to give an apology, I'm not going to do that. That's the 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 key key point right there. Y'all right there. That's what leaves this gap right here. That's what leaves that gap right there. That's that gray area that this called. Have you ever intentionally wronged somebody then? No, I never intentionally wronged somebody. I don't. So you never apologize first? I have. Do you apologize? No, and I did apologize. Because I know I can be petty. And I know. I know I'm when I'm being petty. What else did? And yeah. I'm gonna be petty. Well, and I'm be petty for a few days. But after the few days, oh, I'm gonna shit. say, you know what? I was right. wrong. And right. I'm sorry. I, I, I agree to that. But me, I'm not a petty person. You have to do something for me to for me to want right. to dig back right. at you. They, they and I will apologize. Yes. To you. Yes. But I'm just not out here just 
being petty just for no I'm not going to wake right. up and say, oh, I choose to be petty today. Agreed no, I don't do that. But, but if I'm being petty, then I'll so, tell you. This so is why I'm being petty. So it wasn't petty. It was revenge. Like, it wasn't so Petty nah, revenge. Oh, you know, petty petty revenge. Nah, petty revenge. <laughs> we got to the core so of the difference. Petty revenge intentionally My, no wronging somebody? That is true. Okay. See? So you led with, I will apologize if I've intentionally wronged somebody. And I will. I will and do that. And then you said you've never intentionally wronged somebody. <laughs> And then you said petty revenge is intentionally wrong, so ha but you've never... But I'm saying it's revenge because something was done to me first. Okay. Okay. I didn't say that I initiated. Well, well, so you initiated it, so I'm just coming back with what you initiated. Right. Is it safe to say that why, well, why won't a woman take the, the, what the man would take? Why do, won't a woman lead just to save the... Just like you say, we'll do it just to save, just to move on. So be the Why bigger person. Why don't a woman be, the, be a bigger person just to move on? Oh, we that always never the happens. bigger person. Okay. Hold on, wait, how many times in life have y'all done that? All, 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 all the time. All the time. To say, I'm apologizing. To say, I'm apologizing. Listen, wait a minute. I'm just talking because a man, we apologize even if we know we're wrong. Mm -mm. Nah, I don't. We will. We well, do. Well, y'all are special type of men. So you saying that women, y'all apologize even when y'all know y'all wrong? If I know not, I'm not wrong. wrong, I mean, not, if you know you're not wrong, just to save, just the air that's in the yes, air, you're going to say, well, absolutely. Absolutely. to keep the peace, y'all, let me tell you about keeping the peace, y'all don't even man. let it go, yeah. so I know y'all ain't trying to, keep, we be looking for the peace, and y'all won't let the peace He's come, because y'all just keep nagging, 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 I'm not a nagger, because no. and that's what drive a man crazy, because it's I like, all right, I said I'm sorry, every, but every woman can says that, no, can we move on, she's like, no, I haven't changed you yet, right, exactly, right, <laughs> you still got some learning to do. It's like, uh, nagging mean, doesn't mean that, that, that. Remember that. Nagging no, doesn't remember nagging at your mouth. Nah. Right. Don't really, that don't I mean that. I that word, though. Right. Yeah, see, that's why y'all hate it, because y'all think we talking about your mouth. So what, now, what, is what is it? What is it? It's attitude. The just attitude. attitude. It just won't move forward. Yeah. Just won't, that's the nagging. Yeah. It's not about just your mouth. No resolution. The mouth like. will say it with all of us. I can nag you back. I can that's the case, we can play the nagging game all day. I, I remember I was in a relationship, and we had dated for an extended period of time, like over eight years, and we were at the point where we were trying to get to the point where we could move it forward and, and do all of this. And we would go to counseling, and we would resolve something in counseling, or I thought we would resolve something in counseling. And then we get in the car on the way home, she would bring up the same stuff that we just spent money to resolve, and the counselor was like, okay, cool, y'all can move forward. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that. We're not paying somebody you to resolve too. stuff and yeah. then get in the car and argue Big about facts, it. Because you missed a couple of points that you didn't think about during the night. It's dead. Yeah. It's done. This lady okay, that's true. To I will agree to that. Oh. No, I'm guilty of that. Sometimes you got to let it go. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I, I am guilty of that. So I do acknowledge that I can get in the car and be like, you said such as like, you know, and then he's like, well, we said that in counseling. But me, I'm still saying it because I feel like. I ain't changed it. It's going to be a repeated behavior. Right. Yes. So I'm a person of repeated behavior. I can't go off what you say. I have to go off what you show me. And what you've shown me is this repetitive behavior. So I'm going to keep bringing it up until possibly you're going to get it right. Or you might not. So let me just say this real talk. Like sometimes that stuff feed on each other. Because mm -hmm. like when, when you go through something, then somebody's trying to come, a guy, we're trying to make it right. And because you can't let it go, we can't get right. So the same thing that ran me away was, was, was what it was that I, I might even done the wrong. I did the wrong. Well, because you won't let go for three days. Well, because you, them three days. Well, three days is detrimental to that situation. Them three days make me run back away so from you saying. instead of to you. And that's, the, that's why we call it nag, but it ain't nag. It's just like, like can we move forward? Because instead of, instead of making me fight with me, make me miss what I, what I, what I should. Make me feel like that. I if you, and if you touch me that way, then I'll be like, shit, I ain't doing that no more. But if I got to come on, uh, I'm out the door. I get you that, and I understand it. But still, too, people can't put a time frame on when somebody can get over something yeah, or not right. mad about it. I know, but don't run, I know. Don't run it back in the streets. But you, but you ran us into this situation. <laughs> I feel like you put us in this situation. So you can't. it may take me one day. It may take me two days. It may take me three days. But if you clearly did something wrong, then I think men should allow a woman to just it's get over it. Yeah. She's going to get over it. Trust me. Right. She's going to get over is, it. Just that, give her time. Wait a minute. Does that apply for us? It should. It should. It should. It should. It should. I like it that word. I like that phrase. It, it should. should. Exactly. It, it doesn't sound like a lawyer, huh? It doesn't. It's 
it should. It doesn't. Break That's why Michael Shirley said it should. Maybe it's a good one. But it doesn't. Right. It doesn't. No. That's it like should. It should. If we be fair. Dish out to y'all, it should. It doesn't. No. That sounds like it should. Be fair. Dish out to y'all. And I hate to generalize in y'all, but if we were to diss out to y'all, what y'all give us, no, y'all no. wouldn't like it. No. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's the truth. Y'all, 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 if y'all, if we held on to y'all, y'all mistakes for three days, four days, no. I need some more champagne. No. 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 Y'all just couldn't shit. Shit. No. Y'all ain't even here. Right. Since we talking yeah. about dishing, yeah, dishing, can y'all dish what y'all give out if Absolutely it was done in return? No. Nice. Nope. Depend on what it is. No. No. Y'all say we can't. Y'all be here. Y'all be sick. But we do. It's a few things. We do take it. Y'all say we can't, but we do take it. It's the number one thing. It's the number one thing. We everything else. Like we over food, over some little bit of shit, all that. But I can tell you, you run to the <laughs> you can have it. You can't come on, we that's why we got to settle this one. We can't settle this one, baby guy. Come on. Coming up on the slippers. You slide up on somebody. This what you doing? This what you doing right now? Yeah, you slide on this Sleed on in on the But that brings me on the topic of double, double standards, standards and how men can do certain things and society's like okay with it. But if a woman do something, then she's labeled this or labeled that. But that's what you're doing. I know. Men. Okay, but listen. So why y'all can't well, y'all, y'all know, right. y'all, y'all know y'all why, why that goes saying. deeper than what y'all yeah, really why? think that is. Why? Y'all just, this, y'all ain't gonna like right. this right here. Okay. What I'm about to say. <laughs> Y'all definitely ain't gonna feel yeah, this. Like <laughs> now, because I understand the state, the, the era and the and stage of where we at with you know man and woman right now. But we didn't make the rules, guys. Who, who did? Come on. We came first. Come on, G. Y'all, y'all was supposed to be as our I companions. Swear. I swear. Y'all y'all hold on, hold on, wait. Take we didn't say that. We did. Let's go. Let's go. We, we did. did. We did. We did. We need a job. Yeah. That's the reason why he gave, because he said we can't do it by ourselves. Yeah. Okay. We're not supposed to be here by ourselves. We're not, where? In anything you read, tell me where it's for the journey, whatever you read. Right. I don't know what doctrine you read, whatever. Tell me where the journey describes somebody going through it by themselves, first of all. Yeah. No doctrine says any journey is by yourself. I don't care what you read, and I haven't read them all. Right. But I know ain't nobody telling us out here to be go through this by ourselves. No. That's why we... It but was, what does that have, does that have to do with the standard? No, no, what I'm saying is this, though. It's, it has been taken out of content because y'all saying it's a double standard. Man, gonna this and that and man. And why does it this? Because it was that's how it was set. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not no, 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 it's not, you, you're saying why is it have to be a, a certain a standard this because a man of this see listen the even playing field has been even out now because we, we realize that woman is strong as man we, we men have agreed to that when it was all said y'all men didn't agree to that you all understand men didn't agree to, uh, agree to that men agreed that woman was supposed to be here to bear our children to take care of us that's what it will say but, but let me do this guy change let me let me Go do ahead, let me add with hey, it's not really about who the stronger or the weaker right. it's about functionality like you got to really understand functionality like it, a, a car function because this part of the car do this and this part of the car do that come on, come on. the car wasn't designed if you don't if all parts of the car did the same thing the car don't move yeah so what, what really what really creates a good car is when those pieces function together and they design differently. Yeah. So the woman is a nurturer and she she <laughs> have different components do to the way that she rides. Yeah, that's right. right. And then the car, I don't get what you see what I'm saying? But, and it's the last thing I'm gonna say. A man told me this the other day. He said the greatest you, love he ever had for his wife was when he realized how much love he had for himself. And he said, he said, he said, man, he said, I love my feet, I love my arms, I love my, he said, and finally, when I realized that she was a piece of me mm. that I could not function without. That's good. He said, that was way more than when I was infatuated with her, way better than any sex we had. He's like, he's like, and we ain't touched each other in months. He said, but I tell you right now, no one will ever take me away from her. I'll never mm. go nowhere. He said, cause that'd be like walking away from a piece of my body. Mm. But ain't this how that's it was set? But that's how it was set though from the beginning. 
Where it say it came from? It said it came from what? It said real, real, but it just real. it didn't mean so one strong or dark. It didn't mean it was just they go to go. Right. It just it didn't. Yeah, so that's why I was so I'm, weird. All I'm, I'm saying is now because he's about to get hauled out right now. Oh, you yeah, saw it? They trying. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. They show was ready. Man. But okay, I agree. I hear. And that was a beautiful story. Beautiful. Design that for myself. However, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what does it have to do with the double standard? Right. The functionality. No, no. no. But, you're saying, but you're, saying, you're saying the functionality. <laughs> you're saying the tire cannot be the steering wheel. There you go. I get that. I get that. You saying because right? everything has to coincide because there's a manual or whatever. But at the end of the day, how I look at it is who wrote that manual? Did a man write that manual or did a woman write that manual? Because God, men sometimes God wrote it, but then God placed the God placed the, the 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 okay, we have to say that God didn't put both of them there together. Yeah, I know what God wrote, but I'm trying to understand why so men want to pick and choose different texts from the Bible and say when this is okay and when this is not nah, okay. That ain't, no, that's what, what a lot of men from. do. No, I know I'm saying what the Bible says, but what y'all do is totally different. But you said yeah. functionality. A man is more nurturing. And let's just say, for lack of a better term, uh, more feminine in his approach. Are you attracted to it as women? I can sit here and say this. That's a good question. I can sit here and say this. I have no problem with a man being a nurturer. I think from the beginning, we're going to set our roles. Like if I'm the woman, I'm the provider, I'm going to work. I have no problem with him doing that. Who the protector then? It doesn't. You can still be, be the a protector, protector and be a nurturer. If both y'all the nurturer, who the protector? <laughs> if both of y'all the nurturer, if both of y'all the nurturer. I'm just saying, who protecting us? I'm just saying there's roles in relationships. And y'all really don't want so that. So that's why you have to. You some don't women really do. Want I'm that. not saying me. That's I'm, what I'm saying, saying some women got to be the master. Oh, yeah, want Somebody got to be 100% okay. master. But then don't want a man. At all times. I want a man. I want, want a man, man until you get a man. I'm a man. All I'm saying is. I want a man, man. That's all I'm saying. But a man, man needs to be masculine at all times because he don't have time to be feminine. Because if I do have time to be, what do you have time for? My answer is I want a masculine man. Absolutely. That's sensitive. But wait. He don't have to be sensitive, <laughs> but when we that in our room, we watch with notebooks. Yeah. he can be soft. I can't do that. Like I want him to be able to cry. I I think that that's important. When? That's cool. I'm when when, when he's cool. with me, no touch him. You want him to be obedient. He don't need and, to be obedient. And faithful. Absolutely. Absolutely. And those are the hardest things that go with that functionality of a man. I'm being real. I ain't saying a man is supposed to go just totally against that, but you know by nature. Because the question was a double not no, 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 no. A man oh, is not here to train. You can't train us. To be faithful too. I understand what you're saying, but she but asked the question about the double. Y'all okay. said the double standard, and okay. the double standard is that typically, typically, it's more harder for a man. You know, we go out and do things, yeah. and it don't mean nothing to us. A good woman, most of the time, you do something, it means something to you. So if you start cheating around, you probably cheating around somebody you love. God, we go out to strip club, come home, don't know who we're talking to. So you can to. go out and cheat and no, get labeled as the man. But if we go out, we get labeled. And have fun. So wait, wait, wait. And they're oh, that's fun? So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you are right now? That's fun for you, bro. Mm -hmm. So quick question. So the nurturer, if you have a man that is less on the masculine energy when it comes to, you know, like you talked about, like the, 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 the conqueror, right? Um, does that work for you? If he's, if he's more the nurturer and, and less of the go-getter, does that work for you? He needs to be the nurturer and the go-getter. See? How? Like, he, why he he can't be both? Why can't he be both? Why can't he be both? But that's the problem. Why do you want to be both? Listen, that's the problem. You feel me you know, where I'm going? Right, right, right. Why do you want that? that's my desire. Right. Listen, we okay. understand that y'all, we understand women, just like you said, <laughs> you can be both, you can be both. Why do you want to be both? Why do you want to take out the trash? Why do you want to mow the lawn? I'm Why do you want to pick trash. up some heavy stuff? Why do y'all want to do But some of us things? are so used to having to be the nurturer for ourselves. That's what we're saying. That's what we just said. You, got, you, you women have been forced to be more in touch with their masculine side. Just like men that's being raised up. Now, I don't know if y'all got kids or not, and I'm not saying a woman can't raise a, 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 man, a boy. She can't teach him how to be a man. That's for I sure. I agree with that. Plenty of women have raised great me go, grow up to be males, right? Yeah. But to teach them to be a boy, is, they're more in touch with their feminine side yeah. because they didn't have no masculinity in the house to, to, 
this be mama, right. feminine. Right. The woman's had to be more stronger because of the lack of the male, right? right? Yep. And then so there yeah. lies a problem where, right. you know, then he grows older and he's attracted to a certain type of woman, but then he can't be a man in that environment. And then there's a conflict. That's this is what you were talking about earlier. Right. Man, my, and my grandma told me this a long time ago. She said, all these little young women be giving their men away. She said, they give their men away. Because he do this, he do that. She's like, I never gave my, and you know it, my mom always said it. They, they give their men away. Well, society, they made it easy for y'all to give up on shit quicker. And then that's why a lot of those houses don't have no men in it. And, and, and it's good that women get empowered. You know, I was, I, I, I'm a, I love, I, I have no, I love women. I feel like I'd rather work with women, women way more powerful. But at the same time, I also know there's something that is missing when it ain't no male around. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and shit. And then hell, you can have a male around now because he wasn't raised, right? Still ain't got no male around. So, so we, it's slowly eroding. It's an erosion. We losing. But the, and and things, things are changing. Like the women back then are different than the women today. Those women had to stay in those relationships. I know, I know. Because they couldn't work. So they, they had could. to stick by no, no doubt. We no needed doubt. them then. No doubt. But so now I can go out and get a job. I can, you know what I'm saying? It's just different. I get it. I always say now is the type of jobs that y'all want to go ahead and get is more in touch with y'all masculine side than well, women's side. And, that's and, okay. wanna, that's and, okay. and it's more like y'all right. trying to prove it to us. Yeah. No. Like, yeah okay. Not really. Y'all just trying to prove it to us. Y'all want to go and get, oh, you if he can run the construction site, I can run the construction site. Sure can. That's a, a, when dating, the type of woman that I find myself more attracted to is the boss man. Because now we can talk, nine times out of 10 as an entrepreneur, I'm thinking about business after we get through doing whatever we're doing as a couple. And now I have somebody that I can share ideas with. Right. Now, I love that. Right. Now, uh, having an entrepreneurial I spirit to you, woman. I got yeah. that. Yeah. Having an entrepreneurial spirit Because women be sharp, too. Yo, yeah. Sharp yeah. Really Definitely. Yeah. We're wired different. And yeah. not yeah. Yeah. Cut in the places that you're left. Yeah. I true. Yeah. I and definitely what agree with that. Right. Right. And so the ideas of a helpmate is maybe changed as things, as women have become yes. more educated and as they are the leading leading branch of entrepreneurs, now we have the helpmate as entrepreneurs that we wanted in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. How are you, where are you adding value? That's more valuable to me than, okay, you got the perfect curves. Mm -hmm. Hey, we can, we can talk about business ideas. Hey, about you, 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 I know, you I know, my, I know my future wife. I know my future wife. Okay, okay. Yeah, entrepreneur. Right. Okay, I'm entrepreneur. Said that. Me too. Okay. My future part too. I can't have no. I can't Since work with nobody about, that's getting up going to work now. Got it. Since we're talking about future wife, I have a question for y'all. Segway. Since y'all are all single, <laughs> meaning not married, Absolutely. do you think you are husband material? Mm. Okay, but listen. <laughs> that's not a way to start this. No, exactly. no, I'm just that's saying like because it happened, now, now, now I know what happened. I'm just saying. I want her to be more broader with her question. That's where I'm going with it. Because when you, I might be good for her. But not my you. No, but I'm might saying. Might be good for her. He might be good. So you have to, it all depends on what you consider marriage material. No, no, no. But you as a man know what you can provide okay, as a but, husband. But I'm saying, That's all I'm you asking. Said that you, but I'm saying, what somebody just said that they yourself. might. Me, myself, yes. Okay. You know, me, myself, yes. But I'm just saying, now, you may want the nourisher. <laughs> I can't do that. One. So I'm not so marriage material. That's all I'm saying. You have been already exed out the list. I'm just saying. Can't even screw. You know what I'm saying? No, but you know if you're gonna be a good husband. Right. Not, but, okay, but you say yes. Yeah, I'm just okay. saying. That's Did, all I was saying. Have you ever met a man that said I don't think I'll be a good husband? Do you think you have the qualities and what qualities? you think would make a good husband for a future wife that any of you may so uh, my last year has been me preparing myself for marriage okay. um, because I have a really good idea of I know the man that I want to be for my wife okay so I've been doing stuff like I mean, salsa dancing learning more dishes and cooking uh, making sure that I can take care of certain things although I've been married before I know exactly who I am right yeah. now at this mm -hmm. point, and when I find her, I don't want to have to go back and do the work. Yeah. So I've done the counseling, I've done all this stuff, and just preparing myself. 
and I'll talk about, man, my future wife, we're going to do this and do that. I got a whole, in my Instagram, I got a whole folder saved by yeah. like, couple stuff. Right. So when she would yeah. meet up, I already got it lined up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. But I'm cool to wait until then because yeah. I'm not trying to push it, but I'm right. just preparing myself. I feel like when you're ready, then you'll attract the energy mm, yeah. that you are. Mm. Yeah. So you're yeah. becoming the person you're looking for. That's, that's good. Yeah. Exactly. That's Everybody's good. always focused on the other person. Yeah, when they didn't do this and that, man, you wasn't in the right spot. My right. father told me, man, I was like, damn, yes. what type of woman should I find? And he's like, man, focus on the man you need to be. Mm, that's, he, that's he answered that for all of us. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, mean, I, I was just about to say, say I, I'm piggybacking on what he said. <laughs> I mean, because I'm 48, so I have I, I'm, I'm I'm I don't have kids. I've never been married, so you know I have been, you know I, I probably have missed out on a lot of good girls. I have, but because I want to be, I always thought marriage was like this grand sacred thing for me. Mm. Like you know, I always wanted to. I just really bought my own first house. And you know, because I always thought that that was something I wanted to share with my wife. I right. wanted to always be that, you know, walk in, the, 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 baby, look, yeah, we got our new house. I always yeah. wanted that feeling. Yeah. So, you know, I started to realize that feeling was going away by 45. <laughs> <laughs> I started almost giving up. I'm almost up. I'm almost giving up. So I'm just, you know, I, I, I know what I wanted to, like you said, I know. And I think once you get to an age, as all of us are, the us gentlemen are, we know exactly what type of man that we want to be right. and we need to be for a strong woman. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's the same though. Like, I'm just piggybacking. Like, I had to realize I got to put in what I want back. Mm. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? But you can't do that with anybody. So, right. trying to find the right person that I really want to invest in, that's what. You know my desire is you know what I'm saying I, ain't nobody want to be out here forever like just moving around with all this craziness that's out here it's a process man i just don't want to be i don't want to be stuck in the wrong deal either and having that fear right. versus faith over moving forward always you know been a problem so now i'm like all right try to pick the right scenario you know the, the, and have faith in it but i know most importantly i got to put the energy in to get it back out, so. That's been one of my fears though, he said, and he been, you know, like we've been in the music game, you know, for a long time, so I'm gonna be honest with you, this, the music game really been tainted the hell out of my, my, my it's, mind it's, because of the things that we've seen, yeah. the things, and it's it from the good, listen, we've seen the good go bad, the bad go good. We've seen it all in the music industry, so me being where I'm at right now, it wasn't help for the, for the music game. Now, if I wasn't in the music game, trust me, y'all, right. I'd be, We'll be talking about my 30 year marriage. Right. 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 Oh, okay. And that's true, man. A lot of people don't understand that too. Your lifestyle and your occupation and all those things play a a big factor <laughs> on your relationships. Absolutely. Whether it's men or women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it constrained because certain people can't take your right. your 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 ambitions and, and put them in the right place and all that. So sometimes those choices don't always get made right. Sometimes it's like, man, I'm going for this money because yeah. that ain't going to let me down. You know what I'm saying? She might let me down. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the It's an investment, right? Yeah. You're looking for a return on investment of your time, right? Yeah, the one thing right. that we'll never get back is time. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you put five years into a relationship, I mean, I, I know a lot of women be like, I wasted all this time. I'm like, do so we on the same thing, yeah. right? Yeah. We both have that time that we can't get back. Yeah. We're not just putting it out here. But, nothing, but there was just something about the relationship that didn't translate to where we can move forward. Right. And that's okay. I yeah, learned, you learn, right? Yeah, right? And then we'll be better per people for the people that we're meant to be with. Yeah, I can't stand that though, man. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody tell me, you wasted my time. Yeah. No, you wasted your time. <laughs> if you would have fixed this and that, we wouldn't be here having this time. Or, or, or. And it's always, it's always the, the saying that, you know, men were afraid to commit. Yeah. I mean, like, take for instance, like a person like me, I put. 35 years into building my career. Mm. So I Shout have to. Come on. Bro. So say you that, can't commit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can't commit? Yeah, I might can't commit to what you want me to stop doing of, of this love that I have for this 35 years I done built. Right. Yeah, you want me to all of a sudden cut that off. That's not, that's not, first of all, anything you've done for 35 years ain't going you not going to just cut that off in yeah. one or two years. And I respect so, the man that can openly say, this is what it is. As opposed to you committing to me, knowing that you can't fully give me everything right. that you need to give. So I respect those that be the, they not married, they not married. It's not their time. I'd rather be with a man that's ready and ready to be committed than right. just to say, we're doing it just to get married. No, so I respect that. Like, yeah. your career, okay, I understand it. Vice versa, if a woman sit here and say, you know, I want to put my career first. I'm not trying to be married or have kids. Yeah. I get that. 
So I respect people that just openly just say, you know. What's that little stamp they put on stuff and stuff? Buy as you, as you buy everywhere. No, when you buy it, this is what. <laughs> Oh, this is what so you get. As 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 and if you don't take time as a man to learn how what as is mean. I think a lot of times in relationships, man, when you love somebody, you expect a certain type of love from them back. And I think real love is giving without the expectation of what their love looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That's so right. I'm agree with that. you might be uh, some woman might be fine with you being at the studio super late because they know that that's your passion and they accept that and they love you. And somebody else might be like, oh, well, you need to leave the studio at nine. Well, truly loving you allows you to be the you great are. person that you, you are and what you're doing. Right. And then that's accept true. you when you come home that's without right. any type of, you know, any, any type of 3A. And, 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 and this is what I've been working on, though. The part I'm saying right. is, now I'm trying to call her a few times while I'm at the studio. Right. And and see, I used to never do that. But we have to I used to never do that though. So, that's so, that's so why I'm at that's why I'm married material now. Right. That's now what I'm kind of and that, <laughs> but that took <laughs> but, but that took to that took maturity and growing yeah. and going right. through things. Absolutely. See, some some right. sometimes we as adolescents and young adults, we just jump into that to try to experience it. No. So I, I don't regret not being married at twenty five yeah. or thirty. I don't. I I'm man, I'm looking forward to being married. Right. I'm looking so forward to falling in love. I'm looking forward to cause I know I've lived forty eight years and I've done what you want to do. Everything, so there ain't nothing left for me to do but to love this woman yeah. and love my family. Okay, let's cheer. Let's cheer. And truth is, true. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. to love. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I have a question. Um, let's say you have your dream woman and she cheats on you. Do you stay and work it out or do you leave? Dream turned into a nightmare. Well, I'm, let me say this here. Send it back to the streets. I'm out. <laughs> Even where you are right now. Huh? Where you are right now. I, once again, like, like OG said earlier, each question has got tentacles on them. Yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? A lot of it had to do with which I can't even think of no way where I'm probably not out, but. You can't think of one. I'm just saying, I don't know. Like, cause she probably ain't who I thought she was. Cause I know I can't take it. <laughs> even if yeah. I did so really shit, I can't take it. really what it is, is you just can't take can't, it. You can't take it. I can't take it. Okay, that's but, fair to say. But I would, you know, like, so if it's her ex-boyfriend, I think she loved with. That's enough. That, that, that's like, damn, she really loved him more yeah, she loved me. Then, it, like it, said, you then if she just did something on the, on the wheel. Like, Damn, now she kind of, yeah. I don't know. Damn, she got there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find her. I'm trying to find her. I'm trying to find her. But the thing is, with you, first of all, you know. She can't find nowhere. This is the truth, though. You know, if she, it, let's see, you said if she cheat. Mm -hmm. See, it's different be, between cheat and being a cheater. Okay. Hmm. If you right. cheat, you might have just made a mistake. Okay. Y'all don't agree? If you cheated, just I just might have made a mistake. You might might have been the temptation the might go on. It might have been a, a whole room full of naked women, and I just the temptation. I just I slipped. Can't drink, can't drink I slipped. <laughs> no, I'm saying it. It really happened to me. So I'm I slipped. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't strong. I would I didn't let that man. I, I didn't let that masculine inside of me get. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Withhold that day. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying, but that didn't make me a cheater because I felt terrible after that. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. I felt it was nothing could be done. I never cheated before. I never, you know, I didn't even know what to do. That's why I came clean because I ain't know what to shit. How to cheat? I basically told on myself. But I'm telling you, women can be so manipulative, and they can, they know y'all know how to get shit out of a person. And y'all can, you might, you might poke me today and want me to scream right now. You'll be cool if I don't. But you, you know how to get it. That what you want, right? And I believe I don't believe. In divorce, I, I, did, I don't. It don't even talk. And what I read in, it don't even talk about it. Right. What I read, it, don't, it, 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 it touches on it. Right. Yeah, and but it I don't, don't think, talk don't, about divorce, yeah. really. You know what I'm saying? In the Bible that I read. So I'm just saying, like, I don't believe in divorce. So it shouldn't be nothing that can't be. If you are following God, it shouldn't be nothing that can't God can't work out. 
So, so you, I'm just saying for me, I know that's a big one for y'all. Like I, 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 I so, know it's a big one for y'all, and I'm not saying, but you got to be. So <laughs> if we say if, if we're going to be gone with that, where, where the word forgive <laughs> come in at then? So if that's never uh, forgiven, yeah. I, I so should so never have to forgive you so in my cheated. relationion. Yeah. Continue. Yes, Basically, he's saying she cheated too. because first of all, you know, you know, you know, when you fell in love with that woman, you knew if she was a cheater, you know she was loose, you knew if she was. Women can you be knew. sneaky. Shit. I know she. Well, we we need a whole hour for talking about y'all. Can be. We need a whole nother thing. We don't need a whole nother thing. Y'all take my sneak. I'll take it to a whole nother level. Yeah, we don't even know how to be sneaky. So we don't even know how to be sneaky. Y'all do it better than us. That's not even in a man's vocabulary. We're smarter. 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 Y'all exactly. are being reckless. I think exactly. when men cheat, y'all are just being part. reckless. No, y'all Candy, just do Candy, it. Candy, you saying it right there. You, no. Y'all answered y'all own question. No, we didn't. No, we why didn't. men can't take it but condition? You know why? We're taught that. The this. effort and the We're energy that y'all put into it is way more than what we do. We do reckless stuff without thinking. When y'all do it, by the time you done designed it, planned it, and all that, yeah. you got feelings for that guy. Like, like, no, like, no. like, no. I, most of the time. I, 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 y'all don't just go out and y'all don't strategic. Y'all don't pick a strategic night and say, tonight, this night, just get us a bunch of guys that's right. and take them home. So, 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 so you, have you cheated in a relationship before, yes or no? Hey, man. So, 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 okay. If you have, if you have, you're going to take the box. So, and I'm not saying you're current. I'm just saying, in the past, I've cheated and I told. You cheated and you told. And my assumption is that you probably, if you have cheated, that you probably told. Okay? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are not with it. Okay. What's up? Derek, like, I ain't told on my show. Man. You know, we're not even going to talk about it. Like, All right. No uh, contest. Like, like, I have, I have. If y'all have cheated, did you tell? I haven't cheated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I want to ask this. This might be on more of a serious note since we're talking about relationships and stuff. Could you. Marry somebody that your mother don't like. I don't know if my mama like anybody. Well, but you know what? I could. Um, I could. You could. I could because I know she's known me my entire life. I know where I am right now, yeah. mm-hmm. and I'm more of a private person. And so the things that I've gone through in relationships, I don't share with my family a lot of times. Right. Because if you share with your family, they never gonna like that person. Every day, right? I'll be married 10, 15 years. Right. They thinking about what she did before y'all got engaged, right. Right. right? And so because they love, they love you unconditionally. They're gonna look out for you, and they'll never forgive her That's when right. she cheated with the pool boy. You know, when she was in Panama, but y'all wasn't really serious, serious, and y'all weren't engaged, right? So mm-hmm. I think I could, you know, my mama not gonna like that answer, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. But what if she didn't cheat? What if she's just finding reasons just not to like her based on like a personality? Just saying, my mom didn't like my ex-wife, yeah. now that I think about it. Oh, okay. I, I, I wouldn't. I, I know you wouldn't for sure. But I'm gonna tell you why, because I've been knowing my mom my whole life. And we like the same shit. Absolutely. <laughs> but your car. <laughs> <laughs> You got me. You got me. He got you on this one. Yeah, we're going to be deep. I just, like, you know, like, and I feel like I could straighten my mom out or my woman out. I feel like that's part of being a man. I feel like that part got lost. I feel like that if somebody loves you, everybody got to give a little bit. And I think that we are afraid to challenge our relationships like that. Mm. So I would challenge my woman. Mm-hmm. I say, hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I want you in my life, and you know how important this is, is to my life. Yeah. Work, be the bigger person, mm-hmm. and then reveal to me who is the person that's the problem. Right. Mm. Instead of just coming out the gate. Right. And I think I would do the same, though, for woman, her family. I would, I, I don't, you know, when I'm walk up, don't like your daddy or your mama for it. Right. I gotta like you or love you right. enough to put up with them. Yeah. That's, that's it. Good. That's, that's, that's good. Right. Yeah, that's good. I love you enough yeah. to put up with them. That mm-hmm. is that, that is true. That's that's oh, good. That's good. Okay, that I have one question. You're on a dating app and find a baddie. Y'all have been chatting. The conversation good, juicy. The chemistry is there. Y'all meet up, and she doesn't. She's basically like a catfish. Ooh, she don't. <laughs> She doesn't look like what she appears to look like on social media. Yeah, I've been catfish. 
<laughs> What's your next move? How you moving? I'm gonna just be honest. I was out there. I was out there bad. So I was still <laughs> through, I was out there carefully. I was like, well, you you got me on over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. I'm just saying. I'm just here, huh? <laughs> just saying, I'm old school. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the team player. The team player. You know, we had to take one for the team. I take one for the team. And the team just happened to be me. So I, had, I took one for the other, for the team with the fellas. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, whoa, this is this, this is cold. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Yeah, man, this is supposed to be super. Yeah, that happened to me like a month ago. <laughs> Now, it ain't been that recent. I got a catfish alert now. I got catfish patrol now. I just started getting back out to the dating scene, man. And it happened to me a month ago. And, and uh, I was like, I'm going to FaceTime first. Yeah, I was going to say FaceTime. Say, you know. Because I'm new to it, you know. So, I, I, yeah. But it was, I went ahead and we went on with the date. And I just wanted to wrap it up after about two hours. And she, she took offense to the fact that I wanted to wrap it up. And I started yawning on the face. Oh. Oh, okay. I wrapped it up the first it, 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> wrapped it up, it's wrapped it up. You call it my Uber going to be here. Yeah, that's why I said you meet me at that gas station right by my house. Right. We're going to take this right on over here and be gone. So in the future, I'm going to do Starbucks, man. I'm going to do a cool Starbucks. That way you 15 minutes in and out. You know, you don't have to do an appetizer, <laughs> then a dessert, all that. good <laughs> It is, you know, it's a little bit more okay. And then if it if it grows, okay, cool. We go from Starbucks and let's go to, you know, go to the restaurant. Right. Let's go to the yeah. That's a good one. Right That's all. I put that on. I'll, 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 I'll do the day now. Do I'm, I'm, I'm too old for that. Yeah. Too old school. Okay, I gotta guys. feel you. I gotta. I gotta. Yeah, it's an energy thing. Yeah, energy. Man. I got you. Okay, I, I, I can have, touch you. I have no. one more question. You yeah, have one more question because I want to go back to OG earlier when we were talking about dating. <laughs> what is dating to you? You know, it's it, dating to me. I'm old school, y'all, and I'm I'm I was in a fast lane all my life. I worked for radio since I was 17, so I never had to do the traditionally the traditional dating thing like take a woman to eat just to yeah. Been a lot of groupie love. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to say. I'm trying to say. I got to, you know. Group so love, you know, I, you know, Pat R. Kelly T's in the 90F79 by T-shirts. You know. <laughs> Get me in the door, right. so I ain't really. So I'm just being, be honest with y'all. Now, as I got probably about 44, 45, is when I started realizing, okay, you got to start dating because then my grandma started telling me like, you ain't gonna never get married if you don't date nobody. Because I, I don't like just be dating three or four girls. Because right. then I gotta remember the call she keep to the gate and the key to the mall. <laughs> how you doing? How was your day? You ain't call me. <laughs> oh, Lord, I forgot to call her. Uh, Shalette, Shalette. I'm saying, so I've never been, I can't, because I've worked so much, I can't juggle yeah. all that. So me with the dating thing, I don't really, you know, you like me? I like you? All right, that's it. We, what's up? We hanging out? We going to hang out? Whatever that we do? I don't know about the dating thing. See, I don't stay 48 and all that, what y'all be doing. I be seeing y'all on Instagram. <laughs> I be like, where is that at? So I don't, I don't know nothing about the dating yeah, thing. So. As, as busy business professionals, it's hard for me at least to date multiple people. So I'm gonna see what we're talking about if we're vibing cool. But all of that having to remember to text somebody every yeah, couple just, hours. I just when I get into work mode, I'm in work mode, and I don't even think about my personal life until like eight nine o'clock. You know, and then it's hey, what you been up to? Well, you know, you talk I don't to think about my personal life till honey hours. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Ten o'clock. Oh yeah. It's time. Now I wish I had. Now I wish somebody. Because Keena Lee said anybody. Who take the bait? Then, 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 then she yeah, gonna hit you with it's ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. You ain't talking about me all day. All day. You ain't talking about me until ten. You know, you, you know what this time of night is. This whole time you call me. With. But I'm on the way. <laughs> so you come through with that. Right, right, right. Just saying. Just saying. Hey, you know I work all day. I'm just like, Okay, guys. Thank y'all for hanging out, hanging out with us. I enjoyed y'all. Well, we enjoyed y'all. Um, we typically have a question that we um, take of the day from a viewer. Um, so we would love to hear you guys take on today's questions. Or do y'all have a question for the ladies? Yeah. One question. So the best question. For the ladies. <laughs> Maybe. What type, what, what are the top three things, and I would love this, 
from each one of y'all that y'all look for in a man in order of 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 priority. For wow. Okay. Very good. Who wants that? I'm gonna start with you. Oh. Yeah, because you want, yeah, you want you a duality of a man. You know, the nurture go go <laughs> <get there. laughs> and be able to cook and do therapy sessions. Exactly. So I want to, I want to. Well, first, I, I want a friend. Yeah. Like, a number one yeah. is a friend. Somebody I can kick it with. We can just be friends, you know. Um, provide, for sure. So that's number two is a provide? Yeah. Because okay. I want us to be friends first. We need that foundation. Okay. And then provide. Um, um, and just overall, all of the above, like family oriented, um, God fearing. It's a lot. You said top three, but no, no, it's cool. a lot. But you chose the nurturing first. I did. I want you to, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Me. I ain't killing no bad coming on. Uh. Okay. <laughs> My top three is more than three. Top three. <laughs> um. Someone who is loyal. Being loyal is very big to me because I'm very loyal to those around me. Um, number two is someone who is honest. Um, I can't do the lying. I can work through anything as long as you're honest about it. Um, and the last one is probably someone who is respectful at all times. When I'm there and when I'm not there. And you carry yourself with like class. I don't like somebody who's like easily accessible mm. to people. And I feel like when you have those three things, like you're not easily accessible. Everybody can't have access to you. So those are my top three. So no big social media presence? Is that uh, they can have, I have a big social media presence, but everybody doesn't have access to me. Don't so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number one is trust for me. Okay. I have to be able to trust what you say, trust how you treat me. Um, number two would be a protector. Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily meaning in a fighting sense, but I need to know that if out in public somebody says something about me, you got my back. You're going to protect me. You're going to protect my image. You're going to protect us okay. as well as being a protector of me. Um, Third thing is respect. Okay. Okay. So, I just feel like if you respect me, you're going to respect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love y'all. Thanks. It's really all of the above. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so every week we do a soup of the week, which is basically something that has happened in your life or in pop culture, or it could be um, politics that has made you take like a sip. Like, and Lord, I need to take a drink, or Lord, yes, like, ooh, I need a drink yeah. after hearing this. It's so much going on in the world. I'll be sipping all day. I'm just be honest with you. <laughs> because, like, you know, I'm, I'm more concerned with, like, the world, yeah. like, homelessness and stuff like that. Like, that's, like, one of my main things. It's, like, okay. homelessness and, 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 and poverty and just, you know, people can't eat all over the world. So that's, yeah. like, what, what I'm doing, like, you know, to try to on a bigger level to try to, you know, conquer that, like yeah. with NFTs and cryptos and stuff. That's what I'm, you know, I'm using my cryptos to try to end world hunger, hunger and homelessness and stuff, because that affected my family, it's, you know, my uncle. It's like, if you don't really understand these things until it, it hits home, yeah. and like seeing my uncle at the pinnacle of my time when I was coming out the club and everybody, hey, he, 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 and seeing my uncle, somebody, you know, that's homeless in the car, that's when, so, that kind of changed my life, so just I'm I'm really about that. So if I, you know, I, everything that's going on in the world, when we, I had to take a sip on that that type of stuff because, okay. you know, we got it. We got too much money, and we can we can end it. We can. Derek, what about you? Man, um, like next, can we take a sip on something good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what we said. Good. Yes. yes. I'm gonna take a sip on this good show. I'm, oh, I really enjoy it. I had a good time. Yes. I had a chance to great spend like yeah. the ultimate time. Not only uh, with some good friends, man. Long time, long time friend. and my family. So honored to be here. Thanks for y'all having me. That's, that's a, uh, that thing we should, we, we should cheers to that. Yeah. 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 That's a sip for yeah. life. Cheers. Yeah. 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 I just want to thank you guys again 
for um, taking the time out to come have some sips and some conversation with yeah. us. So take this time, love on your family, love on your loved ones while we're here. Give them their flowers now. So that's my sip of the week. Yes. And be sure to stay tuned for more champagne and cigars. Yes. yes. <laughs>